Alright, uh, the question was posed, what is my opinion on the uh, G- Big Gibbon script by Sean Murray? Uh, is it worth the money? And my answer is, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible. Uh, basically what you do, you have GIMP. You can do it yourself if you want, which is what I do because I don't actually own it. I just know how it works because I checked it during the whole recipe phase. Basically, uh, you change the uh, contrast a little bit to better contrast it. This is going to be perfectly contrasted. So uh, the only real big thing is you go image, trans uh, mode, change it to grayscale. So it's a grayscale image. And then in uh, distortions, there's newsprint. Now, newsprint does half toning, which is uh, what you want here. So you want it at an angle of uh, 22%. Uh, you enter there. Uh, 10% cell size and over sample 2. And that's what the big giving script actually does. That, that's all it really does. I mean, but a lot of research goes into that. And, uh, I mean, maybe you uh, want to pay to support the rest of the stuff. But uh, do I think that's worth it? Not really. I was sort of even reluctant to uh, do any sort of newsprint stuff in uh, Meerkat because I thought some of the other features were better. Uh, so here's the same thing in Meerkat. So let's go ahead and load it up. Uh, let's say we actually want it this size. Sure, that looks like a fine size. Uh, we say apply raster script newsy. It'll take a little bit. Do, do, do. because uh, Pillow, which is uh, built into uh, this, doesn't actually have a, uh, a necessarily built-in thing to do the same sort of uh, pixelization, or the half-toning. So in this, you get the uh, half-toning here, you get half-toning here. Uh, it's basically done up the same way. Uh, as uh, Newsy does it there. Um, do I think that's worth it? Nah, I, I don't know. I mean, may, maybe you like the results and you want to support people in the community who uh, do such things, but I don't know. I, I'm more of a fan of uh, uh, the gravy script. Just because, uh, like, Photograve does a bunch of uh, really nice stuff at the high end, so when you sort of duplicate that functionality, you get uh, some really good stuff in the darks. So, like, the eye here, uh, if we apply gravy, eh, yeah, just apply gravy. Uh, you get some sort of interesting uh, sharpening and... Uh, focusing around the sort of at high end so the whites that don't get bleached out as much and the other ones I, I think it's a sort of nicer kind of script thing but uh, to each their own uh, w- would I pay 30 bucks for it uh, I don't know I'm a curmudgeon I don't buy things that often alright uh, uh, thanks for watching a couple quick caveats uh the copy of the gimping script that I had described to me might have been older. I don't precisely know which version it was. So, uh, also, there might be some other things in the acrylic script. I never got any information from anybody on describing what is in that script. Uh, you can open it up with WordPad and actually just look at the things. And if you want to tell me what's in it, you can. Uh, don't copy and paste it to me. Uh, you'd actually have to just describe what the processes are since uh, otherwise it would be copyright. Uh, it has to be sort of like a recipe. But uh, yeah, um, my version of uh, my, my, my understanding of the version of the Gimping script is that it's just that. If, uh, if you open up yours and it does a bunch of other stuff, uh, you can go ahead and tell me uh, and I'll see. I believe it also had a, uh, I was told it had an on-sharp mask at like 0% uh, whatever thing, which doesn't do anything, so I think I left it out. Thanks again for watching.